Are you ready? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more reactions of Lost. Lost in the wilderness. Lost at sea. Lost wherever you may be. <laughs> Anyways, this was this has been a great journey so far, man. We're only into season one. Got a lot more seasons to go, a lot more episodes to go, but I'm I'm enjoying this series. Um I'm believing that there's so much more to this island than what I might even consider to be able. There's definitely more people on the island. Like that's very evident at this point that there's more people on the island that wasn't on this plane crash. Seems like even a plane crash happened even before, right? Um, years ago. Um, also, we know about um, old girl that... Um, what's his name um Sadiq met out in there in the wilderness there so um that's gonna be interesting this French lady is this is gonna be really interesting going forward um I like the relationships that are being developed um I had a lot to say in the, the, the last batch of episodes I did last three episodes I did I had a lot to say about those episodes based on what I was seeing um you know I like the relationship um, between Jin and his wife, that's going to be really interesting going forward. So I'm looking forward to it. Whose relationship will we develop next? I mean, we're winding down to the end of season one. So we're going to see maybe a lot more relationships develop. Who knows who's going to get together. Um, I'm glad to see that, you know, some of these characters are, you know, you know, getting to know them getting to know their backstory i like that they're taking the time to kind of tell us a story behind the main story um so, so it's interesting to know these characters and how they move and what drives them you know um but hey let's continue to watch and see what happens okay so let me know what you guys think of course in the comment section don't be afraid to comment on the videos please <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Engagement is necessary for these videos, guys. So make sure you are hitting that like button. Make sure you're subscribing. And of course, if you guys want to watch more videos, want to watch this show ahead, and you don't want to wait to catch up to where we are, because by the time you're seeing this video, we should be way into maybe even season three by the time you guys get here on YouTube. So we'll see how things go. But make sure you check it out. Either way, go over there, see what's over there, see what shows we're watching, whatever the situation is. Um, and I will see you guys after the reaction for the review. Let's go. Hey. Hey. How's it coming? It's coming. As long as nobody sabotages this one as well, huh? I got people standing guard 24-7. Nobody gets near this with or without intent to burn. We could use something to send out a distress call to any ship that might be close, like an SOS. OK, well, look, I'll ask Saeed, but I mean, even if he can make something like that, I he's not going to have anything to power, <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm not asking you to go. I'll do it. No, you won't. I was brought unconscious to her camp. When I escaped, I was disoriented. I don't know how to find her. Saeed, look. You've got her maps and her papers. Now, you thought that they were pointing to something. Well, I was wrong. Well, maybe they're pointing to her. Look, I don't even know what these papers mean. For all I know, they could be the ravings of her disturbed mind. If this map is pointing to her, then you should know she resides here, in this area. She gave it the name. Territoire France. Shannon translated it. It means dark territory. Does that sound like a place you'd like to visit? I'll build a distress beacon, but I suggest you find another house. Do you notice something? 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. What? Those are the same numbers on the paper. Whoever has those numbers has won or will share in a near record jackpot. That's week. That's crazy. He won the lottery, bro. You and Shannon 
you guys have been trying to figure out some of this stuff, and I was wondering what, you know, you guys figured out about this stuff. I thought at one time there might be coordinates of some kind. Oh, coordinates, yeah. You said you saw a wire or something in the beach. You follow it and it led you to her? No. It led me into a trap, she said. Why are you so interested in Rousseau? I'm not. Just, you know, making conversation, dude. Sorry if it's a bad time. Oh, you gotta meet this guy. This is the greatest guy I know, my, my, my grandpa Tito. He's, uh, he's worked three jobs for... How long has it been, Abuelito? 52 years. 52 years. So the first thing I'm gonna do with the money is uh, finally give him the rest that he's earned. So that's really what it's all about for me, to be able to do things for the people I care about. You know, maybe you can buy my mom a new house. And uh, maybe after uh, my grandpa comes back heart. from his cruise, we can, you know. He's having a heart attack. He always wanted. <laughs> grandpa? He's still taking pictures. What the hell? No, no, come with. That's OK. No, I could use a little bit of the fresh water. Dope. Dude, I could really use some alone time right now. <laughs> Where's what? The map. I told you it won't help you find oh, her. Oh, slow down. I don't have the map. What makes this worse is that you won't even do your own dirty work. You get Hurley to do it for you. Wait a minute. Hurley. Charlie. You seen Hurley? Um, a couple of hours ago. We were setting out for a walk. Acting like a loon, I might say. My God, he's going after her. You know... Ever since I won the lottery, it's like we've had nothing but bad luck. Why do I have to wear this? Okay. Give me a hand. Careful. No, no, you, you be careful. You're stepping down. I can't see anything. Oh, oh. Get I... a look at your new dream oh. house. Oh, oh my uncle. Oh, God. My uncle. Oh, I said you could take off your blindfold. Why did you make me put that in the first place? Hugo, do I smell smoke? Oh, crap. Hang on, Ma. I got to call 911. Yes, tell them I broke my ankle. Drop the phone. Move away from what? the vehicle. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the house. This is the Do same. it now. Turn around. What? <sighs> no such thing as curses, huh, Ma? The house is on fire, you stupid cops. Did you think that's a bit more of a priority? What, you don't believe in jinxes? You know, curses. I'm an accountant. I believe in numbers. Hey, where'd you get them anyway? What? The winning numbers. What'd you use? Somebody's birthday. Phone number. No, it's nothing. It's just something that I. Uh... That's it. It's not the money. It's the numbers. The numbers are cursed. Dude, don't look at me like that. I'm not crazy. You know there is no such thing as. A... <laughs> Yo, what is going on with these numbers, bro? He's never going to speak to me again. He just needs time. I humiliated him. When the raft sails, do you think he's going to leave with them? I don't know. But oh, that's not a mine. Don't move! Hey, what are Hurley, you guys? Do not move. I can make it. Hurley, don't move! No. I can get out of the way. I'm spry. Oi! Hurley, stay Oi. put. No way! Hurley, 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 don't even. Ah. He just said he's spry. Hurley, what <laughs> the bloody hell is wrong with you? Hurley, seriously, what's going on? Nada. You guys coming? I guess we are. Lenny. His name is Lenny. Or Leonard. But you don't know his last name. Look, I just need to talk to him for five minutes. I'm sorry, but if you can't tell me the patient's name, sir, I can't very well look it up. <laughs> Anybody? Dude! Can... Do not do that right now. Leave the bowl for another time, man. <laughs> Hey, Lenny. Remember me? 
So that the numbers mean something. Hugo. Curly. Look, Lenny, I gotta know. What do the numbers mean? It's because of the numbers. Did they do something to you? Because I think they did something to me. I think they turned me into a jinx. Ever since I won the lottery with those numbers. Oh, he understood that. You use those numbers to play the lottery? Yeah. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it's perfectly normal you right now. You opened the box. I what? Uh, you shouldn't have used those numbers. Why not? It doesn't stop. You got to get away from those numbers. You step away. Lenny, the numbers, where'd you get them? Sam Toomey. He heard them. Who's Sam Toomey? He heard them in Calgary. What's Calgary? In the town. Where we used to work. Town where? Yeah, yeah. In Australia. They served together in the U.S. Navy. That was Leonard. Still in the service. Uh, he's, um, retired. You're talking about the numbers. Yes, the numbers, exactly. Sam and Leonard were stationed at a listening post monitoring long-way transmissions out of the Pacific night after night. Till one night, about 16 years ago, there's something in the static. A voice comes through. A voice repeating those numbers. A couple of days later, we're at the fair in Calgary, and some Wally there's got this jar. Phil is offering 50 grand to anyone able to guess how many beads are in that jar within 10. Sam used the numbers. Yep. The answer was exact to the beam. So we won the money. On the way home, a pickup truck blows a tire on the highway. It's us head on. What about Sam? Barely a scratch. Anything terrible that happened to anyone around us, he believed it was all because he used those numbers. Did he ever find a way to make it stop? Yep. Killed himself. Put a shotgun in his mouth. <laughs> Figured as much. I use them. The numbers. Curse. There's no curse. But you just told me. You think I'd still have my leg if Sam hadn't picked the right number of beans? You you think that floods wouldn't have happened, that, that homes wouldn't have burned down, that people wouldn't have died? You make your own luck, Mr. Reyes. Don't blame it on the damn numbers. You're looking for an excuse that doesn't exist. Well, it makes sense, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's happening it's again. What? This is familiar. This area. The close. How do you know? I thought you lived underground. Jack! Bruh. The hell was that? There's nothing here. The batteries? Nothing. She moved? I don't get it. I knew that one day I'd come back and bring others. So she abandoned this place, booby trapped it, and moved on. Do we even know where we're going? The blast sounded like it came from this way. I think. Hey, you don't know. Dude, what do you want from me? What do I want? I want to know what we're doing in the middle of nowhere. You don't know me. Well, all this time on the island, you told me nothing about yourself. We all got personal stuff, dude. Don't change the subject. But we're lost out here. Jack and Zaid could be hurt if not blown to bits, all because you're acting like some bloody nutter. All right, you want to know? Yeah. About a year ago? <laughs> Bruh. Somebody, it just shot at you. you. What is wrong with these dudes? This is like... Saeed? That guy you tortured? He, uh... They were on the plane. Look. I came here to find... Oh, easy. 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 Uh, I'm... I'm just getting your notes. Please. 
Tell me why you wrote this. What do these numbers mean, please? I don't know. The fact that no one is even looking for us. Yeah, that's weird. But I just go along with it. Guess what? Now, I want some friggin' answers! Our ship picked up a transmission. A voice repeating those numbers. We changed course to investigate. It was weeks before we found the radio tower. There's a radio tower on this island? Yes. Up by the Black Rock. Some of us continued to search for the meaning of those numbers while we waited for rescue. But then the sickness came. A distress signal we heard. Yes. But the numbers. Do you know where they got their power? Power? They bring bad stuff to everyone around you. You're cursed. The numbers are what brought me here. As it appears, they brought you. This is nuts. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for someone to agree with me. Thank you. That doesn't oh, explain. God, it doesn't explain the situation with everybody else, Fine, though, because Harleen. they've been on the island for like Get a month now, and nothing's really been happening to. to... Where's Hurley? I don't know. He was right behind me, then he just, he just wasn't. I'll go and find him. No, no. Hurley, what the hell happened to you? Need a battery? She says, hey. <laughs> she says, hey. I think the plane crash might have been my fault. Don't be daft. How could you possibly? Hey, before we came here, a lot of bad stuff used to happen whenever I was around. But bad things happen. Planes crash, people die. Dude, you're the other let me finish. You think you're the only person with baggage? You know what I was doing when the plane went down? I was snorting heroin in the toilet. I suppose that was your fault as well. I just told you the biggest secret in my life. Thought you'd want to reciprocate. Back home? I'm worth $156 million. Fine, don't tell me. <laughs> Dude, I'm my soul. And all I get is bloody jokes. Yo, the same numbers are on the freaking... What? What is going on with these numbers? This is kind of freaky. <laughs> this is kind of freaky. Um, but I guess more will be revealed as we watch the show about these about these numbers. Um, this is going to be real interesting going forward because I believe that the they're not over with the with the whole numbers thing. But it was interesting to know about Hurley though that he was. Um, I mean. If they didn't show his backstory, none of us would have known, you know, I'm saying he he's worth that much. I mean, he won the lottery, you know what I mean? But it, the numbers connected to the lottery, um, pretty cool, pretty cool dude, man. Learning from his background um, as well. That was very interesting what they showed and how this connects, connects to the island. That's another thing. It's like. I don't want to I don't understand where they go into this going with this is this like a I don't know how to describe it is this like a, a fantasy show but they do it in a in a in a real way you get what I'm saying like I don't know what's the genre I'm thinking about there's a certain mystery around this show like there's a there's there's a supernatural aspect to the show 
you know what i'm saying we got polar bears on an island is there you know what i'm saying everything there seems a little upside down like it, it's just a lot of things just seem out of place you you get what i'm saying with with everything that's going on everything seems out of place um there's a certain mystery about the island that just uh, you just can't put your hands on you just have to keep watching the show to figure out you know what it is like where is this mystery um going where is this leading us and i hope it's not a letdown when it's when it when it is revealed you know what i'm saying i hope it is a great reveal so it's one of those things when it comes on to tv shows and when i when i watch tv shows it's, it, it's like yes i'm into the intrigue i'm into you know what i'm saying i'm into the lore you know what i'm saying i'm into the lore of what they're trying to lead us to but at the same time it's like i hope the reveal is good because if it's because if it is some sort of bullshit just to lead us along to just watch the show i'm not gonna be happy but i am enjoying what i'm watching though so that is cool to learn that um hurley cool dude won the lottery and it just seems like everything is just cursed like he just showed up into the house he just bought just cow catches on fire and the police shows up think he's a drug dealer and um more than likely you know what i'm saying <laughs> more than likely that stereotypical stereotyping stuff there's probably somebody in the neighborhood that called the cops on him and saying oh there's a drug dealer <laughs> just bought a house or something like that or because he was in the neighborhood you know bumping music or whatever and because he's hispanic you know people just put you in that category like you 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 know you have people that are like that um in the united states you know what i'm saying you have people that are like this which is is crazy to me because they just associate you with a certain thing just because of because of what you look like it's just it's weird to me because i don't think that way because I, I i judge people based on you know what i'm saying based on them being an individual not because of the the skin color they have or you know by what they wear or anything like that i try to get to know you before i judge you about anything you get what i'm saying um so if i see some random person in the street i'm not gonna assume because oh they're doing this and whatever it's kind of like thinking that you know <laughs> i think like every mexican you meet is a drug is is is, is in working for the drug cartel or something like that it's dumb to think like that um, it's dumb to think like that because you you never know and of course you're not gonna really know if they are if they're not so why even go there so to see that happen that's very much like how you know some people would think uh you know i'm saying as black people how they're so bereaved you know of of the police and stuff like that because stereotypically you know black people they they get pulled over you know and they get discriminated against in a lot of circumstances i'm not saying for most because i don't believe it's for most but it is a you know what i'm saying for the most part when i'm pulled over or anything like that and i've only been pulled over like twice in my entire time i've since, since i've been driving in the states only two times i've been pulled over and it was never it, it was never an issue i i just you know what i'm saying don't act suspicious and all of this other stuff like you you just don't and sometimes it's, it's a little rough I, I, I had my you know the one encounter that was a, a little rough you know what i'm saying um so i've been profiled before not in a car but just out on the street i've been profiled before by by police um and it is what it is you know what i'm saying you move on with your life because i i don't go ahead and just say all cops are like this because it's like that's crazy to say something like that but at the end of the day i do understand how that scene um i mean you could attribute it to the numbers and stuff like that but it's a very real thing that happens you can be mistaken for somebody because it's just like you hear there's a drug dealer in the neighborhood because i'm pretty sure that you know what i'm saying even if they mistake him for a drug dealer you don't approach the situation like that because most of the times you do you just have a description it could be somebody else that lives in the neighborhood and just auto automatically they see this guy and thinks it's him you get what i'm saying well they got sued anyway so good for you <laughs> yeah, good for you buddy 
Uh, so that was pretty cool. Learning about the numbers, learning about all those things that happened in the past. That was pretty cool to see. I really dig it. So finally got a backstory on Hurley. I think he was the only one of the main cast that we didn't get a backstory for. So it's kind of awesome. And, and the thing about it is this Charlie didn't believe him that he's worth a hundred and something million dollars. Um, well, at least his accountant is is looking after him pretty good. Put him in, put him, putting his money in some investments, you know, owning some properties, owning some, um, you know, businesses and stuff like that. So he's growing his net worth. So that's that was pretty cool. But now you out here in the jungle trying to find out what these numbers mean. I want to know what these numbers mean. And then you have the bunker that, you know, um, that um, John and Boone is trying to get into. They're going to have to talk about that at some point because, the, you know, they've kind of left that storyline behind. I think John is still trying to get in there, but they're trying to find a way to get in there. It was pretty cool to see him make that cradle for for Claire. Um, she must be as blind <laughs> as I don't know what, because as soon as they showed the wide shot of it, I was like, oh, he's building a cradle for her. Um, but. I don't think they executed that scene very well. That's just my personal opinion. I think for her to be there this whole time and not notice that he's building a cradle, it's kind of dumb. It's kind of like you're making the character dumb for no reason. And Claire is not that dumb to not notice that. She's been sitting far away from it. She's been she's been up close to it. If 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 anything, you might just not know what a cradle looks like. But I mean, the, the the first time they showed the white shot, I was like, oh, he's making a cradle for her. That's pretty cool. Um, but for her to be there this entire time and not notice that that's what he's making. <laughs> it's kind of sus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, you know, what I mean, it, it's crazy, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's a show. But sometimes they do. You know what I'm saying? They, they do things in a certain way. And you're like, why even write that? Write it like that. I think they could have wrote, wrote it a little bit better. It's like, let her notice. Let her take notice. Don't let her ask. Because then it just makes her seem dumb. I think if she had noticed there at the end, just like I noticed when they showed the white shot. If when they showed the white shot, she could have said, oh my God, is that a cradle? Or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Then or even acknowledge the mistake you get what i'm saying even acknowledge the mistake i think they could have executed it in a way where she could have she could have um said i've been here this whole time with you all day and i did not notice that you were making a cradle that's so awesome blah blah, blah. carry on with the scene but that's just me i think it wasn't executed well i didn't like that because i'm like it just you're just making clear seem stupid and by no means that she is which is pretty cool um so this is gonna get you know what i mean yeah i like this episode man this was a cool episode um to know that the numbers there's some connection with the numbers on these islands just leading people it's kind of like people who are people who have used the numbers in some way gets led to the island somehow it seems I don't know what it means for the other people that comes on there. Maybe they're destined to all die instead of, instead of the people that knows about the numbers because they have incredible luck and the others don't. I don't know what that is about, about, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will catch you guys later. <laughs>